Now, in case you didn't know that war is indeed very, very, very bloody, Mel Gibson has got you covered, my friends. Now, you may have seen the trailer for this movie, and in the trailer, you pretty much get what the plot is. Uh, it's about a man named Desmond Doss, very religious guy, pacifist, doesn't want to shoot a weapon, doesn't want to hold a weapon, but he does enlist in the army. He enlists as a medic, and at first he's perceived as this, you know, coward who's trying to get a Section 8 and trying to get out of battle, but then he goes in as a medic and saves a bunch of people, and he's a hero by the end of the film. Now, what you have to remember is, like I said earlier, this... <laughs> as corny as this movie gets, and it does get very corny in a level that I really haven't seen since something like The Identical, what you got to remember is that as a director, Mel Gibson is like a cross between Cecil B. DeMille, Frank Capra, and Lucio Fulci. Because... <laughs> Why? <laughs> this movie is... There are parts of this movie where it's like somebody spilled fake blood on a Norman Rockwell photo. I mean, what the hell? At the beginning of the movie, when you see him in this nice, small town in Virginia, you know, there's the meet cute with the girlfriend, and he uses corny pickup lines on her like you're watching, just like a Nick Sparks thing happening in front of you. But, oh boy... There's one part where it shows, you know, in a time of crisis, our main character, he can, he can, he can get shit done. If, you, if you're wounded, you need some help, he'll be there for you. He'll lift a car off of you and he'll fix your leg. Now, so here we have this scene that looking at it looks like, you know, it's, it's a faith-based movie where, you know, there's just some small town hijinks going on. But then there's a problem outside. A guy is fixing his car and the wheel fell on his leg. So you've got Andrew Garfield as Desmond Dasu pulls the guy out. It feels like you're watching Little Boy, and then all of a sudden, like, a Japanese horror film happens because the guy's got a wound on his leg that severs his artery. Blood is flying all over the place. To which, when Andrew Garfield is romancing the nurse, he's covered in blood when he's hitting on her. It reminds me... There was a sketch on Monty Python called Salad Days as directed by Sam Peckinpah. It was like Sam Peckinpah's Salad Days, in which they're having a lovely picnic, you know, they're playing some uh, croquet, they're, you know, playing some games out in the park, eating a nice lunch, but it, suddenly just a horror film takes over. Like the frisbee hits the guy in the arm, he's got a severed arm, hits dude in the face, just blood spurting everywhere. That is kind of this movie. <laughs> there are a lot of really corny elements to the film. Whenever it's not in battle, uh, he's sitting there just reading the Bible to himself. And he pl Andrew Garfield plays this character as just such a, a small town simpleton that when he has this big smile on his face, when he's hitting on his girlfriend, it he has a look on his face that looks like somebody showed Cletus the Slack-Jawed Yokel a magic trick with cards, and it has wowed him for days. But then, when it actually gets to Hacksaw Ridge, boy does Carnage not even cover it. This movie is equal parts Holy Joe and Cannibal Holocaust. Cause it makes for, just cause it makes for an interesting viewing experience. I'll give it that because the when it actually when you get past the first hour of it, when th th there really is just a lot of like <sighs> corny stuff you would see in a movie that you would buy on DVD at like a Christian bookstore. Like there are moments where it really kind of does feel like you're watching something akin to the identical and how corny the dialogue is. Honestly, even when they're in battle too, when they when they say stuff like just I just want to get one more. I just want to get one more. 
It's like, okay, I, I, I know you're going for some awards here, but let's keep the intensity up. Let's, let, let, let's keep this going. And when it does get intense, it does really work. One minute, you'll have him just reading his little Bible, and then in the next, faces are blown off, legs are blown off, like rats are gnawing at flesh, bugs are coming out of corpses' mouths, there's half a face blown off with just maggots covering it. Let's not beat around the bush here. Mel Gibson is an exploitation film director. He's a very good one. <laughs> he is. He knows where to point the camera. He he really knows how to get performances out of people. He does. There's actors in this movie that this is honestly the first time I've seen them be really good in something. Luke Bracey is in this film. I can't think of a single Luke Bracey performance that I really, really liked. He's damn good in this film. Um... Andrew Garfield is okay. Like, I, when you see pictures of the guy at the end, it's like, okay, I, I, I get why you cast someone really lanky in this role. There, when he's in battle and you see the looks on his look on his face and everything like that, that that works. He works in those scenes. A lot of the "just give me one more" and all the monologuing and things like that. That's a little. Uh, uh, this is nearing self-parody here. This is getting really close to watching like the early years of like like the younger years of Ernest P. Whirl. But man, when it gets when it gets to the Hacksaw Ridge part, the, dude, like it, it it's <laughs> it, it makes Saving Private Ryan look like family friendly PG. This isn't nearly as good of a movie as Saving Private Ryan. There there are. There are things about the movie that that, that that doesn't work, like a lot of the really overly earnest Holy Joe stuff, but man, the Cannibal Holocaust stuff works in the film. As for how I would recommend this, I paid five bucks to go see this, and you know, I didn't feel ripped off. I didn't. I, 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 I didn't feel ripped off by it. <laughs> because I didn't know what body part I was going to see explode next. <laughs> but no, like, I mean, it it, 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 it is a suspenseful film. It, it, it is well-directed. Um, Braveheart is a much better film than this. I would probably rather watch this than Passion of the Christ. <laughs> uh, Mel Gibson knows his blood and his Jesus, and he showcases both of those things in this film. He showcases them all right. See ya.